Meanwhile, back in Grenada, on Sailing the Vagabond. Are you filming? Yes. So the truth comes out. That what? Riley is really the chef aboard. Oh yeah. What are you making for dinner? I don't know. I'm just cutting. It's gonna be... I'm just gonna start and just see where it all takes me. I like that. What did you do today? I found out there was water in the chart plotter. Oh yeah, that's devastating. So there goes another grand. Yeah. Explain what's going on and what happened to the other side. <laughs> the other side I hit with a hammer and it smashed. So the outboard stuck on the wall. Yeah. Completely seized. Which I've been spraying this stuff on it, but it won't. It just refuses to do. I've sprayed that on it all weekend. And WD-40. We didn't do it that, like we did it tight when we left, but like not that tight. Maybe the wood expanded or something. No, because it's, it moves around like that. So it's not that tight. Yeah. It's just completely seized. I hope I'm going the right way. You are. I watch you put it on all the time. That's definitely off. So what's wrong, Riley? Why'd it do that? The bolt is stainless steel and the housing here is aluminium. aluminium. So, what is, so what does that mean? They uh, just don't mix well. Probably a bit of corrosion. corrosion. The boys in the boatyard did a pretty good job of knocking up a new outboard mount. Uh, they replaced the old one which was just miles too small and they did a new set of doors. She was looking pretty damn fine if I do say so myself and we were super keen to get her back in the water. Oh god they are sexy. They are. We have a lock again. Yeah so we haven't had doors since EOS. Well, so since you've been on board, Alana. Yeah, have not had doors at all, so it's a good, it's a good <laughs> feeling going to sleep and um, knowing you're safe. <laughs> Egg salad. It smells nice. It smells like varnish. Would you say that our boat smells of leather-bound books and rich mahogany? Oh, yeah. It had been a long time since La Vagabond had had any cosmetic work done to her, so we took advantage of being out of the water and treated her to a paint job and we waxed and polished the top sides. What's happening? The engine won't start, <clears throat> so they're gonna drag us out and around and drop us over next to this boat here. We've been mucking about with the batteries, so I think it's gonna end up being something with, with the uh, starter battery. I think that might have been drained at some stage. So we're floating, but we can't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We can do that. So what's the plan then? Change them over, change it over. There's two in there, so I don't know, charge them or get a new one. I'm not sure yet, see, see how busted they are. They're not, it's a hundred bucks, you know, it's not the end of the world. These things happen? It's just the false start, you know? Yeah. I've come up with a cunning plan. What is that? It's more cunning than the most cunning of foxes. I believe you. Tell me all about it. I'm gonna start the generator. 
So then essentially we're plugged into 240. Then, and I'm not sure if this is gonna break anything, but then I'll start the engine and then turn the generator off. And then the alternator should charge the starter battery. And we'll leave it running for an hour and then turn it off. And then if it starts again, then we'll go off out there and anchor and leave it on for an hour again. And then as we go to pull the anchor in like later on that day or the next day, if it's all charged and ready to roll and it starts first time, then we're good. Yeah. That uh, could be wrong, but I think it's clever. Well, we'll see. We certainly will. A few things are happening this morning on La Vagabond. We are waiting for someone to come with a starter. What are we waiting for, Ali? What's going to start the battery? Starter battery. No, but what's going to start it? What do you mean? What's going to start the starter battery? We're getting a new one. Ah. Oh. Alright, we're getting a new one. This is the first I've actually heard of it. We've... I've scrapped the generator uh, jump starting the starter battery idea because I think I might trip some fuses or I'm not really 100% on that and I don't want to uh, get halfway to Trinidad and realise we don't have an engine. So we're going to replace the starter battery this morning. I called out to a bloke who called security for some reason but hopefully someone appears with the starter battery today sometime it's crossed um, i've been uh doing some washing this morning and doing some last minute things because we're going to head to trinidad tonight hopefully if we can get the starter battery started and riley is fixing my wardrobe so uh next time we go on a lean all my stuff won't fly everywhere cheers for that it's all right yeah pretty excited to get moving and sailing again thanks to have you guys with us man thank you thanks a lot yeah Elena and I would like to say thank you to Grenada Marina for looking after the Vagabond there for us for about four months. Five months. Five months, I think it was. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, thank you guys. Hopefully we'll see you next time around the world. Yeah. We headed off for an overnight sail to Trinidad, which was about 80 nautical miles south of Grenada. We hoisted the sails and got back into the swing of things and we reeved right down to prepare for night time. Quarter to four, we've just sailed from um, Grenada to Trinidad. We're about 24 nautical miles away from a little passage that we got to go through before we turn the corner to where the marinas are. There's an oil rig over here. Um, there's another one here. We're in a gas field called, we are in the Hibiscus Gas Field. Um, yeah, we haven't really, we didn't really organise watches, so Elena's just tried to sleep where she can and I have too, and we both had about an hour and a half sleep, I suppose, and uh, we should get there in five hours, I'd say. The wind's been pretty consistent, trade winds, um, but there's been a bit of real low-lying cloud which I've had my eye on that's just ahead of us but apart from that it's just been standard trade wind weather. Just been waking up by a bit of a squall here, so Riley's around in the head towel. Um, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. How's it looking? Yeah, alright. It's back down to 20 knots now so the worst of it. Well, the skies look pretty black. As in, I can't see it being. We're running on instruments, Eli. Good morning. Good morning. It's been raining for about an hour and the wind hasn't stopped. Um, the sun's just come up, so things are a little easier. You can see everything that's coming now. But, um, ooh, a little bit wet.
Tyler's just made himself a Vegemite sandwich and jumped in bed. So I'm on watch until we arrive this morning and that should be about four hours. So I made myself a coffee and I'm uh, enjoying the sunrise. There's a little fishing vessel that's done about five laps around our boat so far. He's by himself and he's got some trawling lines out so I don't think I'm in danger but um, yeah, I'm on the lookout and if he sees me anyway, he'll be very frightened at how big and tough I look. So I should be alright. I'm pretty tough. We motored to this little passage to get around to Chagaramas Bay where we would hopefully be taking a mooring ball for a week or so. The island looked really green and there were a fair few fishing boats around that got Riley really excited to jump back in the water with his spear gun but we had a few jobs to take care of first in Trinidad before we had any free time. Moored up, quite nice, not too rolly. Anchored, oh, moored here next to uh, the Pussy Galore. That is its real name, yes. Riley's having some breakfast. How's your cereal? Very healthy. Done. Well done. Passport stamped. And we are free to explore Trinidad and Tobago. Excellent. See. You. Cheers for watching guys. Join us next week as we install our new water maker and then jump on a few buses to show you around the island. Hey guys, a lot of people are wondering about more up-to-date locations on the Vagabond because the videos are slightly behind. So if you'd like to follow us on Instagram... You're a monkey, Derek! <laughs>If you'd like to receive daily photographs, follow us on Instagram. As always, there's a link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching the episode. Cheers, guys. Thank you.